so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, I as well, Virgo Rising, weekly love and relationship tarot reading, December 23rd to a December 29th, uh, 2019. And um, if you do want to get in touch with me, guys, for a private reading or you want or you want to check a uh, your career tarot reading for that very same week, uh, you can take a look at the description down below and there you're going to find links both for my website and for the other video, other Virgo video of the week. So the first card which represents the topic of your love and relationship for this week is going to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the uh, energies supporting the topic itself, that is going to be the Ten of Wands. Afterwards, we do have what... Uh, is the challenge love and relationship wise throughout the week that is going to be the strength card afterwards we do have uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings and it doesn't get any better than that we do have the two of cups then it is how other people sees you or in other words how your person of interest sees you how uh, your uh, husband wife or partner sees you in general that is going to be the judgment and from just here i can tell you that these two guys i mean these two are the the pinnacle of uh, especially in these positions are the pinnacle of uh, for a relationship positive relationship readings okay so the other card is what can help your long-term goal uh, relationship wise and that is going to be the eight of cups and the other card that is afterwards it is what can hurt your long-term goals and that is going to be the two of wands and the last one it is the topic uh, it is not the topic but the guidance that uh, Tara is offering regarding relationship and love throughout the week that is going to be the ten of cups um, lovely so it does look like that you will have a, a very very good week um, love and relationship wise let's start with the topic in the energies so that will be the two of pentacles and the ten of wands now it looks like that um, this week love and relationship it will require from you to change your ways just for a little bit okay it is because you alone are going to um, acknowledge for yourself or understand, find out, have an insight, whatever, that uh, certain aspects of your behavior, either habits, you know, or just in general, the way you do things are actually hurting you and hurting a future interaction, say you're single or a future development relationship-wise, say you are in a relationship, even uh, even more and for that reason you consciously will decide to re-adopt a new ways of doing things how this is to happen by uh giving up giving up a outdated um expectations for example giving up a outdated uh standards as well uh, outdated ideas and showing to your person of interest or to your partner for that matter that you are adaptable agile and not stubborn enough not to change in change that is quote in quote because it's not really changing yourself but just changing the way how you do things so the the um the product or yeah the product is going to be the same just the way how you manifest that product is going to be different and that comes from the energy itself because the energy points that you are going to understand and define in its true nature the the rules of the the love game that you are playing right now either with your person of interest or either uh with your partner and on top of that uh the more you dive into into this new way of uh, of playing the game the more interesting the thing is going to become to you to a point where uh, you alone are going to understand that this what you are doing it is the right way of doing it and as well that uh, you are striving towards an, an awesome development or an opportunity moving forward now what is going to be the uh, the difficulty here however the challenge that is uh, the strength card and uh, it's kind of awkward because the strength here points couple of challenges now one is the challenge of killing the aggression with kindness or in other words 
uh, because you are going to change, you know, your ways that may baffle your person of interest or your partner. They may become a little bit, you know, nervous and um, they may cross certain lines. And instead of you bursting out as well, you have to kill that aggression and aggression ag again, quoting, uh, quoting quotes with a kindness instead. The other challenge it is uh, to uh, how can I say not to explain why you why you are changing your ways. Just you need to allow your actions to speak louder than words, because then it's going to sound uh, then it's going to look suspicious. Then it's going to look that you are not yourself and that this person isn't signing of uh, the person of interest or uh, your partner have signed up for someone that they don't know in uh, uh, in reality. So the other card, it is about the gifts and the blessings. And we do have the two of cups. It's pretty needless to say, but you can enjoy the gift of love and the blessing of union. Okay. And this is why that is the kicker, guys, because if you do have a person of interest, it's very likely that they love you. And if they don't love you, then someone around you love you all right there is definitely someone that loves you here with this card and changing your ways may be the way exactly how you welcome how you invite that person in your life because right now something in your ways may be obstructing you know future development into your interactions uh, but also this is going to be the gift and the blessing of a absence depravity of shyness and depravity of a uh, uh, indecisiveness into making moves additional gift and blessing here it is the balance where the both parties are doing their part they're pulling their weight into relationship or into interaction as well and now we are coming to the other kicker here which is the judgment how other people see you judgment it is a there is no other way to say it judgment it is about people who are seeing you as the one okay but you should not make any mistake here d1 it is how they see you it doesn't mean that you are okay so do not um do any stupid things to disappoint that person and there are many there are many d1 people okay i'd uh, well i will say it that way instead of d1 that people were seeing you or these who needs to see you that way are seeing you as the right one now, not the right one but what was i about to say oh my god uh the person they have needed at that moment okay so I will try to give you an, a, uh, I don't know, an example. Say you do have a person of interest and they have a, uh, expectations of what their next partner should be and they see their expectations fulfilled in you. Okay. So if that's the definition of D1, then you can, you can take it that way, but simply they see you uh, as the thing they need, the thing they want. And, uh, uh, it may happen suddenly though with the judgment, okay? So uh, for some of you, it may develop like this. You are pushed away, pushed away, pushed away. And suddenly, you know, as you are about to give up from that interaction, uh, that person of interest is start showing inter interest towards you. And it is where the challenge really kicks in, the aggression. I mean, you may kind of like feel bad that right now they're coming around and you feel like vengeful and so on and so forth. So aggression should not be the way how you proceed forward. Now, the next card here, it is a about uh, what is going to help your goal. And that is the Eight of Cups. Pretty self-explanatory here. Bury the past. You don't need to concern yourself, your marriage, your relationship or your interactions with the person of interest about what was what was before and, uh, you know, what's um, what could have been. You need to only focus on the future, especially if we're talking about reunion here, kind of like a reconciliation, because that is also a, a very big possibility for you, Virgo, throughout this week, especially if it is about um, reconciliation. This reconciliation needs to happen like you are just getting to know each other. No talks, no deliberations and no questions are right, a reason for your previous 
relationship that you do have with that person and especially why that relationship broke. Now, the other card, it is a, about what is going to um, hurt your long term goal. And that is the two of wands. And this is the um, unyielding unyielding demands don't know how to say it really it is when you want something and you are unwilling to make a compromise about it how do you say about that kind of a person it's like a uh, a bruising type of person so you should not be a bruising type of person but you need to um, leave open a, a room different things to manifest around you and that's why probably you Virgo needs to kind of readapt and change your ways in certain aspects and that is going to happen naturally really throughout uh, this uh, particular week uh, it's important thing here also with the two of ones to uh, acknowledge that there is more than one way how one thing can, uh, can be established and how one thing can take place so allow uh, the other the other side of the of the party here you know your partner or your person of interest also to give their proposition and maybe to try their way as well and probably together also you are going to reach to development a a beautiful thing which hopefully is going to be uh, either growing into a relationship or establishing a relationship and the last card it is about the guidance that Tara is offering and that is the ten of cups so guidance wise uh, it's quite broad really with the ten of cups it kind of points to a couple of things uh, the biggest thing that ten of cups tells us guidance wise is that there is still more room for emotional growth i mean if you uh, for example if you think that you cannot possibly love your wife any more than that well you can and you will with the ten of cups only if you change your ways a little bit once again but the Ten of Cups also uh, kind of represents the indulgement, the emotional indul indulgement and the biggest guidance uh, for you, Virgo, it is that if, when you kind of start interacting with uh, the person you are in love with, you don't pull yourself away from it. Do not, do not try to play the uh, unreachable type of guy. Do not try to make them, or woman, do not try to make them being jealous. Do not kind of like... Uh, do things that you don't want to be done to yourself that's the guidance itself so that being said virgo this was your weekly love and uh, relationship tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you do want to get in touch with me for a prep for a personal reading you can check uh, the description down below where you're going to find a link for my website and as well in this description you will find a link towards the business and career video for that very same week uh, and that being said, hope we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.